Good morning everyone. Today we will discuss about the frequency distribution and in that case it will give you question like this. I am highlighting the question. Generate 50 integers between 1000 to 1100 using the following class intervals and they will give you the class interval and after that they will ask you that how to prepare the and they will ask you to prepare the frequency distribution chart mean standard deviation skewness and kurtosis of the 50 integers and then they may ask you that how many values are more than they will give you a number and then they will ask that how many values are more than 1080 and the sum of the numbers having more than 1080 so in this way they will give you the question and then the first step what will you do so sabse pehle what you will do you will do that you will generate the 50 you will generate the 50 numbers random numbers by using the rand between formula by using the by using the rand between formula so for applying the rand between formula i can show you that is equal to rand or what i can do i can take one more sheet and then i can show you So first step is that we have to generate the random number between 1000 to 1100. So we have to give the range and we will start from minimum to the maximum number from in which you want the values. So this is the value and now if I want to copy it what I can do I can drag it. So in this way then you will keep your cursor here and at the end at the bottom you will see that there is a plus sign and when this plus sign comes you can drag it easily and in this case if I want the 50 numbers so I can drag it in this way now by dragging the formula we can get the 50 numbers and as these number are the random numbers and for calculation we need the fixed number so what we have to do we have to generate a new numbers we have to fix the numbers and how to fix it we will select these numbers and after selecting this number we will use the control c we will copy the numbers and we will go to the cell where we want to paste it so suppose in G1 I want to paste the numbers. So here I kept my cursor in G1 and then I will go to the paste special. This is the important thing which you have to keep in mind after generating the number. You will go to the paste special and after going to the paste special you will click here and you will find that one box will come and this you will select only values and after selecting values you will press ok and now you will see that you got the number and press escape to remove this dash dash so in this case now we have got the 50 fixed numbers so we have fixed them by using the paste special we talk about these numbers this why we fix it because it will keep on changing whenever you are doing any calculation you can see that here in a1 it is showing 1100 and it will keep on changing when I will do the calculation. So now we have the 50 numbers and in this case we can generate the values. So for generating that what or before doing the or estimating the frequency distribution I want to estimate the mean. Standard deviation. Skewness 
ketosis so they have asked you so what we have to keep in mind that whenever we are starting any formula whenever we want to estimate anything in that we have to keep is equal to sign so here me sorry here if i am writing mean in that case you can say it's not showing anything so in case of mean you have to keep in mind that the mean formula start from averages so you have to keep in mind in case of mean it will you means you will use average and there are numbers and you can see that these are the numbers and they, it is asking you to select the number so what you can do you can select the range and after selecting the range close the bracket and enter then standard deviation we have to use s t d e v this simple formula they have there are other variations also which you can observe in this but we will use the simple one std we are not going to use for the population sample we will just say that please estimate the standard deviation by using this formula and you can see that it is showing the range mean number 1 to dash 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 please select the number so what we will do uh, what we will do we will go to the point from where we will want to select the number so i want to select from g1 then shift and arrow key by using shift and arrow key we can select the numbers easily then close the bracket after closing the bracket for closing the bracket also means whenever you want to write the bracket you have to use the shift and brackets then it will come so after closing the bracket you will press enter and you will get the standard deviation and similar case is applicable for the skewness so this is the formula for the skewness again bracket open so after bracket open you can see that it is asking you to estimate means select the numbers 1 2 dash dash so i am going to the g1 from where i want to select it and then shift and arrow key close the bracket enter in case of ketosis k u r t bracket open or what i can do i can now it will be more visible k u r t bracket open now i will move to the cell from where i will do want to select the numbers so i want to select from g1 as my data set start from g1 so i am going to g1 shift and arrow key shift and downward arrow key then bracket close enter so when i press enter you will see that it is showing the ketosis also and now what i can do i have to write the class interval so whatever they have given for the class interval i can write that so i have to check what they have given in the class intervals so this they have given in the class interval so what i am doing i am copying from this sheet so these are the class intervals which are given to us so these are the class intervals and this is the frequency but before writing the frequency what i have to do what we have to do we have to write about the bins also bins will give the indication to the system that from where to where you want to make the class intervals so here you can see that class interval the first class interval is 11 1000 to 120 1000 to 1020 so in this case under this range the value will come till 1019 so here i am using some hindi so that you can understand it more clearly those who are not able to understand see in this case they have given you the class interval 11 1000 1000 20 and when you will write the frequency jab aap frequency likhte ho ya personally individually check karke likhoge so is class interval mein value sirf 1019 tak hi aayengi right so in that case we have to write the bins that 
और अगर हम सेकेंड क्लास इंटरवल की बात करें सो इन दिस केस वन थाउजेंड फोर्टी इज ऑल्सो रिपीटिंग टू टाइम्स तो जो वन थाउजेंड फोर्टी एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू अगर इन नंबर्स में है तो वो नेक्स्ट थर्ड इंटरवल में आएगी ना कि सेकेंड इंटरवल में सो सेकेंड इंटरवल में जो वैल्यूज आएंगी वो वन जीरो थ्री नाइन तक ही आएंगी सो so, इसीलिए हमने उसका बिन बनाया है वन जीरो थ्री नाइन एंड इन दी थर्ड क्लास इंटरवल हमारे पास जो वैल्यू है वो वन थाउजेंड फोर्टी टू वन थाउजेंड सिक्सटी है अब यहाँ पे जो क्लास इंटरवल है वो हमारा बनेगा वन जीरो फाइव नाइन क्योंकि इस क्लास इंटरवल में फ्रीक्वेंसी अगर आप काउंट करके लिखो वैल्यूज काउंट करके लिखोगे कि कितने नंबर्स इस रेंज में आ रहे हैं तो आप सिर्फ वन जीरो फाइव नाइन तक ही लोगे क्योंकि वन सिक्सटी टू टाइम्स रिपीट हो रहा है तो वो टू टाइम्स आप क्या करोगे जो सेकेंड टाइम रिपीट हो रहा है वन सिक्स वो सेकेंड आप स्लॉट में लोगे नेक्स्ट स्लॉट में लोगे राइट एंड सो ऑन यहाँ पे 80 है 80 इज रिपीटिंग तो हम यहाँ पे 1079 तक लेंगे राइट right? सो so, हम इस तरीके से उसको इंडिकेशन देंगे एंड आफ्टर गिविंग द इंडिकेशन दैट दीज आर दी बिन्स एंड बाकी वो ऑटोमेटिकली अब में ले लेगा कि जो बच गई वो लास्ट में वो ऑटोमेटिकली दे देगा एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड और आई एम रिपीटिंग दिट फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू विल जनरेट दी रेंडम नंबर This this is the first step that you will generate the random number and then you will use the paste special. You will fix the number and third step is you will apply the formula. In case of mean, the formula is the average and in case of standard deviation, STDEV and then you will use the formula for the skewness and similar way you will use the formula for the kurtosis and you will write the class interval. After writing the class interval, you will write the bins. So first step, random number. Second step, fix the number. Third step, apply the formula. And fourth step, write the class interval. Write the frequency. And fifth step is you will write the bins according to the question, according to the given question. So this is the sample question. They may ask you to generate number from any range, and accordingly you will write the bins. तो मैंने आपको बता दिया कि बिन्स कैसे लिखने वन ट्वेंटी इज रिपीटिंग टू टाइम्स सो अकॉर्डिंगली आप वन जीरो वन नाइन लोगे राइट एंड देन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन दिस केस इज यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द रेंज वेयर यू वांट टू गेट द फ्रीक्वेंसी जहां पे भी आप फ्रीक्वेंसी लाना चाहते हो उस एरिया को सिलेक्ट करना होगा एंड देन यू विल गो टू दी फॉर्मूला बार यू विल गो टू दी फॉर्मूला बार एंड हेयर यू विल राइट दी फॉर्मूला इज इक्वल टू frequency now you can see that formula is visible on both the means both the places first is the formula bar and here in the first cell of the selection so now i will use the bracket open so when you will open the bracket you will see that it is showing you the formula it is saying the first select the data array and then bins so data the fixed number so we will go to the g1 it start from the g1 shift and arrow key shift and arrow key so i have selected it then comma the next is bins so we will select the bins so these are the bins which we have created bracket close ab enter press nahi karna hai the important thing is you will not press the enter you will shift control and enter shift control and enter i am writing here you will write shift you will press shift plus control and then you will do the enter then you will do the enter the reason is because if you are doing enter if you are pressing enter only it will give you frequency only in the first cell not in the uh, all other cells so what i want i want ki wo mujhe frequency sare cells mein de combinedly so uske liye mujhe pura selection karna padega and shift aur control ke sath enter press karna padega aap simple control press karoge to wo aapko answer nahi dega we we have done the question aur aap ise check okay now you can check also that sum is equal to how much total numbers we are getting so we have the 50 numbers means we have done it correctly 
we have bins we have estimated the bins we have estimated these values and if you want to estimate the this is the way to estimate the frequency distribution and in case of chart what we have to do we have to in case of frequency distribution what we have to do first of all we have to select it after selecting it after selecting it we will go to the insert and then we will go to the you can see that it is showing the recommended charts so you can go to the suppose i want the 3d chart so it is showing me the 3d chart the heading is this and at the end it is showing the class interval and on the right hand side you have few options which can give you so if you want to add something so plus sign is there so you can click the data labels if you want it and if you don't want it then double click select when you will select it then only you will get these so i'm clicking on this so it has different options so i'm selecting this one so there are various style which you can choose from the given and you can resize also select it so if i want to resize the chart now you can see that it is resize you can move also so i want to keep it here so this is the final chart frequency distribution skewness so this is the end of the question and thank you so next question we will discuss in the next video and save all these things and okay thank you